Hi, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. This is Frank from YOLO Live. Today, I'm going to talk about the difference between HDMI, SDI, and NDI. For those familiar with live streaming and videos, the way video production is connected can have a significant impact on the quality of the video or stream, and different connection methods have varying effects. However, if you are new to live streaming, you might find these three types of connections unfamiliar. So this video will provide a detailed explanation of HDMI, SDI, and NDI, as well as the differences between them to help you determine which type of connection is most suitable for your live streaming needs. Let's get started. HDMI ports have become widely used in people's daily lives. They're as indispensable as chargers. To sum up the function of HDMI in one sentence, it sends uncompressed video and embedded audio signals to any device capable of displaying or encoding video. From an appearance perspective, HDMI ports are shaped like an inverted trapezoid and are quite flat. They are often used in electronic devices such as televisions, set-top boxes, and laptops. In terms of functionality, HDMI is like a super conveyor belt capable of simultaneously transmitting audio and video information from one device to another. Moreover, this process is highly efficient and doesn't require any complex technical conversions. The length of HDMI is related to its version. Version 2.0 requires a bandwidth of 18 Gbps, which can achieve 4K 60 Hz, and copper cables can usually only transmit within 10 meters. The latest HDMI 2.1 version requires a bandwidth of 48 Gbps, which can satisfy 8K 60 Hz or 4K 120 Hz. Personally, I recommend using an HDMI active optical cable for transmission. At present, copper cables can only transmit within 5 meters. Currently, there are three common types of HDMI connectors on the market, namely standard HDMI, mini HDMI, and micro HDMI. Standard HDMI has the widest range of applications, and YOLOBOX supports this type of HDMI transmission. To put it in more detail, YOLOBOX Pro supports three HDMI inputs interfaces, while YOLOBOX Ultra supports four HDMI inputs interfaces. This means that the Ultra can connect to four external cameras at the same time, achieving multi-angle live streaming. Additionally, HDMI output is a standard feature of the YOLO Box series products. Mini HDMI is generally used for digital SLR cameras, mini camcorders, or gaming helmets. Micro HDMI is suitable for GoPros and sports cameras. Most consumer and professional devices are compatible with HDMI, so HDMI has a wide range of applications and can be used in various situations. Due to its ease of use, many amateur broadcasters prefer HDMI over SDI. One of the biggest weaknesses in the design of HDMI cables is the lack of a locking mechanism. The connection is relatively fragile, and any accidental collision or tripping over the cable will bring your broadcast to a halt. Although there are HDMI plugs with turtle back fixing screws, such non-standard heads require screw holes on the device so HDMI cables generally still use regular standard plugs. For controlled indoor environments with clear paths and stable, safely implemented devices, HDMI is the ideal choice for connection. SDI is a professional video signal that has become the first choice in video production environments due to its transmission distance of up to 100 meters and reliability. SDI is a serial digital video format named by the SMPTE Association of Film and Television Engineers in 1989. Over the decades, SDI has undergone several upgrades. Enhancements were mainly made to improve signal quality and transmit more data. SDI connections are more stable than HDMI connections and image processing is more convenient. If you are in an environment where cables might be unplugged or tripped over, SDI connections with a locking mechanism are the ideal choice. The locking mechanism is not the only advantage of SDI connectors. SDI cables are loved because of their simple and reliable design, and SDI cables are often durable and easy to repair. However, there are some risks with this sturdy fixed cable. In the event of an accident, equipment can be pulled by the cable, 
making it easy to drop or damage the interface apart from the risk of tripping. The reason the SDI standard is considered a professional benchmark is for a reason. Broadcasts that require frequent movement of the main body and camera may be an excellent opportunity for the SDI interface to shine as you can continue to move forward without worrying about disconnecting from the device. Sports events, concerts, and venues with large crowds might be excellent cases for using SDI. Harsh weather or outdoor venues with wildlife are also good places for SDI connections. SDI is also often used in important broadcasts such as emergency statements, as it can reduce the risk of video transmission interruption or disconnection. Of course, people usually use SDI in video production. The main reason may be the interface relationship of video production equipment. NDI, standing for Network Device Interface, is a royalty-free, high-quality, low-latency, multi-channel audio and video transmission technology. It can be used royalty-free, but it's not open source. To elaborate, after the audio and video signals are NDI encoded and compressed, they can be transmitted and received in real-time via an IP network, possessing the advantages of ultra-low latency and nearly lossless quality. Moreover, NDI is a signal transmission technology based on a local area network, transmitting compressed audio and video data. A device within a local area network can output or receive multiple NDI signals through a single network cable. Currently, NDI has been upgraded to the fifth generation. The upgraded NDI 5 has become the new generation audio and video IP transmission technology for remote internet and post-production. Existing SDI cables can transmit three analog components and four audio channels through a single digital cable. NDI has surpassed the simple integration of audio and video. On-site, only an NDI encoder and a network cable are needed to encode the SDI or HDMI signal into an NDI stream, and the back-end computer can easily complete the deployment by connecting to the network. This simplifies the interface, eliminates complex SDI and HDMI wiring, and saves on computer hardware installation. To go further, the advantage of IP over SDI is that the IP network structure is relatively simple, network configuration is flexible, coverage is wide, and transmission technology is mature. At the same time, NDI's wiring is low difficulty and easy to maintain. A single network cable can solve data, control, synchronization, and power. In fact, NDI is stirring up a wave in the video and live streaming fields. Naturally, Yolobox Ultra has not overlooked the importance of NDI. This product not only supports NDI output, but also supports simultaneous input of three NDI sources in a single live broadcast. In the settings, turn on NDI out. There is no need for cable connection, just need to be on the same network, we can receive the video stream from Ultra on other media platforms that support NDI input. Conversely, we can also receive video streams from other devices that support NDI after selecting the NDI option in Ultra's video source. For more information on the use of these features, you can watch our previous videos by clicking on the link in the description below this video. Despite the many advantages of NDI over SDI and HDMI, there are also some downsides to consider. NDI requires a strong and stable network infrastructure to function optimally, and the systems may face latency issues or loss of quality if the network connection is not stable or robust enough. What's more, while NDI does allow for multi-channel transmission, this can consume a significant amount of bandwidth, especially when dealing with high-definition or ultra-high-definition signals. So, in which situations is HDMI suitable, and when is SDI or NDI more appropriate? Personally speaking, in indoor installations or stable environments, such as conference rooms, using HDMI is not too worrying about the locking issue on the other hand, in outdoor mobile use or large crowd sports venues, SDI cables with a locking mechanism would be a better choice. As for NDI, it is ideal for complex multi-source setups that require multi-channel transmission. 
it's important to note that NDI performs best in environments with a strong network infrastructure and its flexibility makes it suitable for environments that need adaptable network configurations and extensive coverage. Of course, the specific choice of connection scheme is a systemic issue with many details to consider. It requires the decision maker to have some experience and understanding of the product, including the indicators of cables and connectors. Especially before choosing a scheme, please take a look at the interface behind the device to avoid the cables being unusable. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more insightful content. Also, don't forget to join our Facebook user group where lots of our customers share their user cases. Last but certainly not least, if you have any questions or would like to know more about YOLOlive, you can contact us via email at contact.yololive.com. If your need is urgent, you can call us at plus 86 137358125891289. If you need to express your needs through pictures or videos, you can also contact us via WhatsApp. The number is still plus 86 137358125891289. Thank you for watching this video. This is Frank. See you in the next video.